Suppose you wish to use hyperbolic functions on the calculator. In order to access them, we have to go into the catalog. So we hit second and zero. Now I'll hit the reciprocal key so I can get close to the hyperbolic cosines. So here is the hyperbolic cosine function, and underneath it here is the inverse hyperbolic cosine. Suppose we wish to evaluate the hyperbolic cosine at f4. Well, to do that, I will go ahead and select this command, type in the number 4, and then close it, and hit Enter. And we see the value is about 27.3. Suppose we wish to plot a hyperbolic sine function on the calculator. Well, in order to do that, we'll go ahead and go under y equals. We'll go ahead and access the catalog. And I'll hit 4 because the hyperbolic sine functions are closer to the t's than the beginning of the s's. So we'll scroll up in the catalog here to find the hyperbolic sine. And here we see the hyperbolic sine and the inverse hyperbolic sine functions. I'm going to plot the hyperbolic sine function, so that's the one I select, so I hit enter. And then I just type in x and close it. And I'll put this over a standard window. And here we can see the graph of the hyperbolic sine function. Suppose you wish to determine the inverse hyperbolic tangent of a value, say 1 half. Okay, we'll go back to the home screen, and then we'll hit go into the catalog, we'll select the t commands, and here we have the hyperbolic tangent, and here we have the inverse hyperbolic tangent. Select that option, type in the value, and hit enter. So in order to obtain the hyperbolic trigonometric functions, or the inverses of these functions, you will have to go into the catalog to obtain them. The calculator only has the hyperbolic sine, the hyperbolic cosine, and the hyperbolic tangent functions programmed in. It also has the inverse hyperbolic sine, the inverse hyperbolic cosine, and the inverse hyperbolic tangent programmed in as well. And this is how you can do hyperbolic functions or inverse hyperbolic functions on the calculator.